So now we'll prove the second half of Clannis theorem. If a language is accepted by a finite automaton, then the language is regular. So we did find an algorithm that created a regular language for a finite automaton, and so it's useful to remember, every algorithm generates a proof. We introduced the notion LPQK to be the set of all strings that went from state P to state Q without passing through a state numbered higher than K. So if our initial state is K equals zero, then the language accepted is a union over all possible accepting states and all K in our set of states. We also defined LPQK recursively as, and again, think of this as going from L to P passing through states k or less, together with passing from p to k plus 1, looping, and then going on to q. Since this defines LPQK plus 1 in terms of LP prime q prime k by using union, concatenation, and star closure, then LPQK plus 1 will be regular if and only if L p prime q prime k is regular for all p prime q prime in q. And this has the format of an induction proof. So we'll prove our base step. Suppose k equals 0. Consider L p q 0. Remember, these are the strings that allow us to pass from p to q, only passing through the initial state 0 at most. So what strings could be in L, P, Q, 0? Suppose alpha is a string in L, P, Q, 0. Then alpha describes a path from P to Q that passes through, at most, state 0. If it doesn't pass through state 0, then P and Q must be directly connected. So alpha must be X, a single symbol from our set of symbols. But any single symbol is a regular expression. Next, our path might pass through the initial state 0. But the path from p to 0 can't pass through any intermediate states, nor can the path from 0 to q. This means that alpha must have the form yz, where y takes us to 0 and z takes us on to q. But since y and z are individual expressions, then yz is a concatenation of symbols from sigma, and so it's a regular expression as well. Finally, we might have a loop at 0, and this would give us a string of the form. But since w is a single symbol, the star closure is regular, and the concatenation is also regular. And so L, P, Q, 0 is going to be a union of regular expressions, either a single symbol, a concatenation of single symbols, or a concatenation with the star closure of a single symbol. And that proves our base step. So now suppose L, P, Q, K is regular for all P and Q. Then the next one is a concatenation of a star closure of regular languages. So it will also be regular, and so LPQK will be regular for all K. Consequently, if A is an accepting state, then L0AN is a regular language, and the language accepted by our finite automaton will be a finite union of regular languages, since a and N are assumed finite, and so it will also be a regular language. Put together with our earlier result, we have Clannis theorem. If L is regular, there is a finite automaton that recognizes it, and if a finite automaton recognizes a language L, then L is regular. It's traditional to state these related if-then statements as a single if-and-only-if statement a biconditional, in other words, 
L is regular if and only if there is a finite automaton recognizing L. But again, anytime you run into an if and only if statement, remember it actually conceals two linked conditionals. So it's better to think about this as the pair of conditionals.